Hi, good morning everyone. Welcome to yoga. I'm Trish. So we're going to do a flow this morning and we're going to be working with our ninja pose or our side lunge. Okay, so we're going to start, uh, make sure that you are working at your own level. So this is um, a class, especially if you've got tight hips and find it hard to get into that side lunge ninja position. So grab a couple of blocks this morning um, to help, especially if your hips feel a little bit tight. And we're going to start off in child's pose. So let's come towards the back of the mat and then bringing the big toes together. Okay. And then from here, maybe just gently sway a little bit from side to side and then just gently start to walk your hands forwards, your hands shoulder width apart. And then softening the forehead down onto the mat and starting to take a couple of nice deep breaths here. So as you inhale, start to widen out across the back. And then as you exhale, just softening through the hips, softening through the belly and the chest, allowing the weight of your torso to melt down onto your thighs. So we'll just take a couple of nice deep grounding breaths here just to come into our bodies and into our breath, onto our mat. Deepening the breath. And keep widening through the hips. Maybe starting to roll the tailbone under a little bit so we're getting a nice stretch out across the back. Perhaps lengthening the spine, walking the hands a little bit further forwards. Maybe a little gentle sway of the hips. Maybe drawing the bum back towards the heels. Right, and from here, maybe start to lift your head up, bring the knees out wide now, and then melting back down. So from that little uh, rounded back, maybe starting to lengthen the spine and melting the heart towards the floor. All right, let's lift up now. Belly hugs in, push back into your right hip, and then walking the hands across to the left. And then as you exhale, melting down, feeling that stretch across that right side of your back, pushing back into that right hip. And then let's inhale, lengthen up, belly hugs in, walk the hands across to the other side, push back into the left hip, widening out through the hip crease. And then as we exhale, melting down. Maybe lift up, come back through centre, a little sway from side to side, bring the knees back to uh, back in towards hip width, and then from here start to keep the chin tucked in towards the throat, roll your tailbone under, and then gently roll yourself forwards and come up. Okay, from here come into tabletop, restack your wrists underneath your shoulders, knees underneath the hips, hands are shoulder width apart, knees and feet hip width apart. Let's do a few cat cows here. So let's inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, rolling the tailbone under, belly to the spine, spine to the ceiling. Opening up through the backs of your shoulders, rolling the chin in towards the throat and pointing the crown of the head towards the mat. As we inhale, keeping hips and collarbones wide, we start to lengthen up through the spine, reaching the heart forward, shoulders away from the ears, and then maybe drawing the eye gaze in the chin to the sky if your neck allows. So moving with your own breath. As we exhale, rounding, and then as we inhale, the arch and opening up through the front and the back of the body and going that little bit deeper with each breath. Imagine that your spine is like a bite chain and you want to feel from the base of the spine one link moves and the next and the next and the next all the way up to the crown of the head. Using the core to move you and creating a little bit more space in between each link as we deepen with each breath. All right, let's do one more here. And then on the next inhalation, 
We stay in our arch shape, roll the shoulders away from the ears. Let's come through knees, chest and chin. So we bring the chest down and then we slide the hips forwards. Okay, from here come into Sphinx, bring the elbows underneath the shoulders, 10 toenails on the ground, lengthening out through your toes. And then feet the hip width apart, let the top of your thighs roll in towards each other. And then lengthening up from your toes through the insides of your legs, up through the spine, all the way up to the heart and to the crown of the head. So inhale here as you exhale, keep the tops of your thighs rolling in towards each other. And at the same time, start to roll the tailbone back towards the floor. Pelvic floor, the muscle you use when you stop your weed midstream, starts to lift. And then as we start to lengthen up, bring your awareness to your transverse abdominis and that band that sits at the front from hip to hip where your undies sit. So start to uh, uh, bring the awareness to that band and winding that band back towards the bum. So you're feeling that lifting out of your lower back, engaging through your deeper abdominals. Keep lengthening up, belly hugs into the spine and then breathing into the heart. Widening out through your shoulders, collarbones. As you exhale, sliding the shoulders down the back and squeezing through the backs of your shoulder blades. Keep breathing into the heart center here, keeping all those cues uh, around the core active. And so from here, let's ground into the elbows and maybe feel like you're drawing your elbows back towards your hips without the elbows actually moving and feel like you're trying to draw your chest and your heart through that gateway of your shoulders. So we should feel a very nice stretch through the hips, the abdomen, your solar plexus and your heart and feeling a nice little squeeze and compression through the kidneys and adrenals at the back. No pinching through the bones in the lower back. Let's take one more nice deep breath here. All right, when you're ready, exhale, come down, bring the hands underneath the shoulders, inhale. As we exhale, let's tuck the toes under, roll the chin to the throat and fall back into our first down dog of the morning. Okay, so we'll start pushing all the weight back into the hips, widening out across the hip crease. And then from here, maybe starting to walk the legs out. So keeping the hands and feet where they are. And then we bend the knee, bring the thigh to the torso, stretch out through the arch of the foot. And then pushing the hips back towards the wall behind you as we lengthen the heel towards the mat. So stretching out across the back, opening up through the hamstrings, backs of the legs, backs of the knees, sorry. Backs of the legs as well, calves. Achilles and opening up through the soles of your feet. Keep a little bend in the knees if you need to. Doesn't matter if the heels don't touch. And just making sure that your belly is hugging in towards the spine. Keep the hip crease nice and wide. Take a couple more nice deep breaths here. Maybe just shake your head from side to side. Nod it up and down. Releasing the neck. Okay. Let's do two uh, chaturangas here. So let's come up onto our toes. As you inhale, roll your pelvis under. Imagine your knees are sliding up your thighs as you unroll yourself into plank. Okay, hold your plank here if you need to come down onto your knees. So we want one nice straight line from your knees or the toes, of, or the heels, sorry, all the way up to the crown of the head. Lift up through your abs, your thighs and the back of the heart center. And then squeeze your glutes and push them down. Get the hugs into the spine, drawing the lower ribs towards the hips. Pull your hands in towards the feet, feet in towards the hands, so you're feeling the core is activating that little bit more. Okay, now we shift the shoulders in front of the wrists, lifting out of the shoulders, belly hugs it. As we exhale, maintain that straight line as you come down, and have the chest come down first, so don't collapse the hips. And then inhale yourself through, come into Sphinx, Baby Cobra, into Up Dog. Opening the heart, no pinching in the lower back, and then exhale, chin to throat, and roll back into Down Dog. Stretch it out here. Starting to spread the fingers nice and wide, almost gripping into the earth, into the fingertips. So the fingertips, the roots of your fingers are gripping into the mat. I feel like the weight's coming a little bit out of the wrists. And then drawing the energy from the earth up through the arms, up through the back. Lower ribs keep sliding back up towards the hips. Hips pushing back towards the wall behind you. And then exhaling energy down through the backs of the legs. One more breath here. All right, let's come forwards again. Come onto your toes. 
And then we round and roll ourselves forwards. Come back into your plank, either on your knees or your toes. Pulling everything in, shifting the shoulders in front of the wrists. Belly hugs in. Exhale, coming down. Inhale, coming through. Opening up through the heart. Exhale, roll back into down dog. Take a couple more nice deep breaths here. Keep stretching everything out. Keep engaging as we open as we engage one side more, the other side opens so that the more that you can try to engage across the front of your body through your uh, abdomen, you might feel a little bit more opening up across the back. Okay, from here, let's roll forwards and come back into tabletop. We're gonna do a little bit of hip flossing now to open our hips up. Okay, so we'll do a little uh, sequence first. So we're gonna take, so option one is just come into your leg. Option two, we'll do a little bit of balance. Okay, so take your left leg and extend that foot back. Start with a square hip. You can just do the leg, otherwise if you wanna work with your balance, Take your right hand out as well, okay? So the first set I'll do without the hand and then we can add the hand. So inhale here. As we exhale, we're gonna roll the knee towards the nose. Inhale back. Now we're gonna open the hip out to the side. Tuck the foot front if you need. Exhale to 90. You can stay here or maybe extend that foot out to the side. Bend the knee back in and then square the hip back out. Push it back. And then from here, we squeeze the glutes and then we lift that back knee and look up. Okay, extend the foot back out. So you can stay with that option. We'll take your right hand out now and then start to lengthen from the fingertips to the toes. Feel how the body wants to twist. So use your core to keep your, draw that right, uh, right shoulder back in, left hip back in. Okay, so we're not sort of twisting. Inhale here, keep the core really nice and active, belly hugging into the spine, ribs to hips. Inhale, as we exhale, we're gonna roll, so knee to nose or knee to elbow, rounding the back. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to 90, so cactus arm and frog leg. Option to stay here or extend that foot out. Bend the knee back in, straighten the foot. Hand comes out, foot goes out. And then from here, squeeze the glutes and bend the back knee or tap the back foot. Inhale, lengthen out. Okay, exhale and round. Inhale out. Exhale to 90. Stay here or extend that foot out to the side. Come back in. Straighten out. Squeeze the glutes. Tap the back foot. Or lift the back knee. Last one. Inhaling out. Exhale and round. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to 90. Stay here or extend the foot. Come back in, lengthen, and then squeeze the glutes and lift or back, tap the back knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bring the hand back down. Inhale here. Exhale, bring that knee out to 90. Extend the foot out to the side. And then bring the toes down, toes in line with knee. Okay, so from here, if you like, walk your hands in a little bit. Bend into that left knee. And then from here, we're just gonna gently start to draw a few circles. So breathing into that left hip. Keep your core active. So we're lifting out of the hips and pelvis and just breathing into it, pressing it through. Circle it back the other way. We keep that knee soft so we're mobilizing the hip as well the knee the ankle joint breathing into the inside of that leg from here you can bring the leg back to straight and then gently start to draw the hips back and forth a few times and then maybe taking your right knee a little bit wider out to the side so that that uh this way. So that right foot, which was straight, you might want to angle it so you're in a tough child's pose now. And then gently drawing the hips back and forth until we come into modified child. And so just take your time here and just breathing into it perhaps. 
each time that you come back, you might be able to come a little bit deeper or you can keep that knee in line with the hip, okay? So find your option. You can have that knee in line with the hip or have it out. And then see if you can come all the way back, bring the bum back towards the heel and then come into your modified child's pose and we're just gonna hang out here for a few breaths. Keep the pelvic floor active and so we feel, should feel a very nice stretch on the inside of that left leg, the straight leg, and just breathing into it. You can rest your uh, rest on your hands, you can rest on your forearms, rest on your forehead or rest on the mat, do whatever's comfortable. Keep widening out through that hip crease. And just breathing in to wherever you're feeling that stretch. One more breath here, and then when you're ready, push into your hands. Walk yourself back up, bring that knee back in. If you have that knee out to the side, so we're now back in our almost tabletop position. Okay, and then from here, we're going to take that leg back. All right, now bend the knee out, and let's just circle that knee a few times in one direction. And then back the other way. Keep the hip crease wide, feeling the big thigh bone in the socket. And then extend that foot back. All right, now keeping the leg straight, flex the foot, open the hip out to the side. Lifting out of that, uh, so widen the hip crease, lifting out of that hip, feel the big thigh bone in the socket. And then from here, we wanna see if we can transition with a straight leg and bring that foot all the way out to the outside of your left hand. If you can't, then, yep, so just see what you can do and then bring it all the way up. Once it reaches, widen the hip, bend the knee, and we're in our lizard pose. So from here, if you need, grab a couple of blocks. It's option one is we're in lizard with our block supporting, okay? Make sure that your knee stacks above your ankle, otherwise you're on your hands. Okay, from here, once again, lifting out of the hips. And we're just circling again a few times in one direction. Back the other way. Breathing in. And then just drawing the hips back and forth a few times. Okay, and then from here, let's just come a little bit deeper if it's accessible. Maybe bring your hands onto your blocks and coming down onto your forearms, on your blocks, or onto your mat. Lifting out of your left hip, so make sure that the other hip is not collapsing down. And let's just take a couple of nice deep breaths here. You can continue some gentle movement if you like. Just breathing in to wherever you're feeling. Good stretch. Okay, let's come back up now. Going back onto our hands. And then from here, let's take this front leg and we're going to come into wild things. So we're going to take this leg all the way around, swivel on our bottom knee, lifting out of the hip, lifting out of the shoulder. Take the left hand and then reaching it out. So this is just our counter stretch. So just releasing through that hip, open up, breathing into the front of the body. Keep the belly hugging in and opening the heart to the sky. All right, exhale, bring the hand back down, knee back down. From here, come through either chaturanga or knees, chest and chin. So exhaling down, inhale yourself through. And when you're ready, tuck your toes under, exhale, roll back into down dog. Take a couple of breaths here. So just breathing into the back, walking out through the backs of the legs. Maybe check in with the body, notice how one side might feel compared to the other. And when you're ready, let's come through our option for a flow or stay in down dog. So you can exhale, dip, inhale through, or you can stay in down dog. And then we'll come back into down dog. Okay, let's now come back into tabletop, do the second side with our hip flossing. I might turn to the other side because this makes it easier for me to see. All right, so uh, since we did it with the leg and the hand, so we'll just take the right leg, take it back, and other hand out. 
Okay, we did one on the other side. So you can do four or you can uh, like this, or you can do the first set with the hand down. It's up to you. Okay, so if we're doing it with the hand down, then we're just using the legs. So inhale, exhale, rolling knee to nose. Inhale back. Okay, second one, opening the hip. Exhale, come to your frog, 90 degrees. And then you can stay with the knee bent or extend the foot out to the side. Exhale it back. Inhale, lengthen. And then exhale, squeeze the glutes, lift the chest, look up. And then bend that back knee, reaching the foot to the sky. Inhale, lengthen back out. From here, option to stay with that or take your left hand out, coming into your pointer and balance. Keep the core active. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. Elbow to the knee or outside of the knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to 90. Stay here or extend the foot out. Inhale, back out. Or bend the foot back in and come back out. Exhale, squeeze the glutes. Bend and maybe tap the back foot. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale and round. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to 90. Stay here, extend the leg. Exhale, bend the knee back in, straighten it out. Exhale, squeeze and tap. Last one. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to 90. Stay here, extend the foot. Exhale, bring the foot back in. Square the hip, lengthen out. Exhale, tap the back foot. Inhale, lengthen back out. Exhale, release the hand. Inhale here. Exhale, bring the knee out. And then bring the foot out. All right, bring the foot to the ground. Toes in line with the knee. Now we widen out through the hips, bending into the knee. Walk the hands in if you need to. And then circling the hips. Breathing into that right hip, tapping that knee joint, ankle, and then circling back the other way. Okay, and then from here, come back to a straight leg. Option to keep that. Uh, Supporting left knee in line with your hip socket or to take keep the Take the knee a little bit wider out and then gently start to draw our hips back and forth So Diane maybe just keep a little posterior tilt to your pelvis here, so you're not feeling it uh, And each time that we come back maybe you can Draw the hips a little bit further back towards that heel. And then when you're ready, come back into your modified child. And grab your box if you need to. And then so bring the hands forward. So you might you might look like this with your hands. Maybe coming lower with your forearms or just taking your hands on your forehead. Maybe your hands are on your blocks. And so just find whatever is a comfortable position for you here and just breathing into that the inside of that right leg or wherever you're feeling the stretch. Keep widening out through that hip crease. Breathing in the tight areas as you exhale, sending a message from the mind to the body to release. All right. When you're ready, push into the hands and support yourself to come back up. Okay, lift the hips, bring the knee back in line with the hips. And then from here, take that right leg, bring it back out. So we've got a square hip now. Okay, bend the knee. Let's circle the knee a few times in one direction. And then back the other way. All right, extend the foot back. Now let's open the hip to the side. Maybe flex the foot, lifting out of that hip. 
and see if we can go past that plate that we did earlier and come all the way to the front now. When your foot touches the ground, widen the hip, bend into the knee and come forwards into your lizard. Okay, so hands can be on the mat or hands can be on your blocks. Observe if everything feels a little bit tight, a little bit higher up so it's a little bit more comfortable for you. And then circle your hips a few times. In one direction, out the other way. And then maybe just gently drawing your hips back and forth. Okay, and then from here, maybe coming a little bit further further down, make sure we're not collapsing into the other left hip. And then you can either bring your hands onto your forearms, maybe onto your blocks, come a little bit lower down, or forearms onto the mat. And then just take a couple of nice deep breaths here. Keep lengthening the chest forwards. All right, when you're ready, bring the hands back in. This front leg now is gonna come all the way around, swiveling on your bottom knee, come back into wild thing on, oops, it's on the side. Opening up and really stretching out, breathing into that right hip, breathing into the chest. That right side of the body and just starting to roll the heart towards the sky a little bit more. All right, exhale, hand comes down, knee comes down, come through either through chaturanga or knees chest and chin, coming into your back bend. Exhale, chin to throat, and then roll back into down dog. Take some nice deep breaths here. Stretching out through the back and walking out through the legs. If it's not comfortable in down dog, come into tabletop and walk the legs out. Bring your awareness to your hip crease. Hopefully we feel like we've got a little bit more space in the hip crease. And then keeping the hips square, widening out through the hips, rolling the uh inner thighs upwards and rolling the outer hip downwards maybe keep maintaining a little posterior tilt to the pelvis all right let's come through one more flow so chaturanga or knees chest and chin when you're ready forwards exhale and then inhaling through opening the heart exhale back into down dog or child's pose. Take your option here and just stretching out across the body. Okay, from here, let's come back to the left leg. We're going to take the left leg back. Okay, and then open the hip, bend the knee, and then let's just trace a circle with the knee, and then we're going to roll forwards just once, tap your knee to your nose. Inhale it back. Okay, open the hip, bend the knee, square the shoulders, circle, and then come all the way forwards. Bring your foot in between your hands, coming down onto your back knee. All right, from here, make sure that the weight's on your kneecap, not your knee joint. Coming into low lunge, so roll the tailbone under. Inhale, come up. Okay, we'll just do three cat cows here so that uh, you know, we're focusing on the hips. We're just so just really putting your feet to hip width, grounding into the feet. Inhale, as we exhale, bring your hands into cactus. As we inhale, squeeze the glutes, push into your big toe, toe pads, so engage your quads, squeeze your glutes. And as we inhale, we lift up through the spine, lifting the ribs, squeezing through the backs of the shoulder blades, charging the heart to the sky, maybe drawing the chin up. Exhale, come forwards, elbows touch, forearms, palms, and then we start to round the back as we bring the elbows towards the belly button, opening up through the back, lifting through the chest. Inhale, opening. Exhale, around. And then one more. Inhale and open. Exhale, and out. Inhale, open. Take the arms all the way up. 
Okay, maybe a little back bend here so you can stay with straight arms. Maybe just come like this, or you can take the hands, interlace the fingers, squeeze the glutes, and open the chest. Keep lifting the ribs, following the tailbone back towards the floor. Inhale, exhale, bring the hands onto either side of the front leg now. So now that our hip, our knee and foot is in line with the hip, a bit different to our lizard before. Option to keep the hands on the floor or bring your hands onto either side and just gently start to floss here. Keep widening out through the hip crease. And now we're breathing into the back of that left leg. And let's draw the hips back over that back knee. And then from here, maybe keep a little bend in the front knee if you like. And let's take a couple of breaths here. So keep drawing that left hip back into the socket, maybe lengthening the side body on the right side. Make sure we're not dumping into our hips. Okay, when you're ready, come back up. From here, let's tuck our back toes under. Lift the back knee, maybe just sway the hips back and forth. Let's come into high lunge. Ground your big toes, I'll ground your toe pads, and then take the hands, inhale, come up. Keep your hands in goal post, and maybe another little back bend here. Inhale, back up. Exhale, open yourself into warrior two. Align the feet. All right, we'll just do a, a little warrior flow and then we'll come into other things. So let's front foot in line with the arch of the back foot. Spread the toes nice and wide. Grip into the earth. Make sure that front knee is anchored over the, over the ankle. And as we stretch the earth apart with the feet, so that back heel can slightly roll in. Otherwise, if your hips are open, open them out. And then squeeze your glutes, especially on that front side. As you squeeze the glutes in your outer thigh, imagine that your leg is like a rope. So from the bigger thigh bone, you are winding, 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 supporting that knee to wind out towards the left-hand corner of your mat. As that hip winds, start to wind your ribs open back towards the left side. And then extending your arms out, fingertip to fingertip. Eye gaze towards the left fingertips. Lengthen the spine, relax the shoulders, sink deeper into the legs. Softening the breath. Okay, take the front hand, inhale, push it to the front leg and reach it back. So we're opening up through the side on that left side. And take that back hand is just resting there. With no weight. Exhale, come forwards. Elbow onto the thigh and then reaching that right hand either to the sky or maybe reaching it past the head. Pushing that bottom elbow into the thigh. So you're feeling that engagement through your obliques here, or your side abdominals. Push into the front leg. Inhale, reach back. Exhale forwards. And one more. Inhaling back. And then exhale forwards. All right. Inhale, come back up, warrior two. Now let's straighten the front leg, come into triangle. Turn your front palm face up. Inhale, slide forwards as if you're in between two planes of glass. As you exhale, windmill the arms. So if you like, grab your block and you can bring your block onto your uh so come into straight legs if it's possible okay so otherwise you don't need a block so make sure that you're feeling like you're standing in between two planes of glass so maybe if the block is not if you're using the block as a crutch so when you are sideways you should kind of look like this and not like this if you look like this um then you need to come up higher okay so if the block's not uh not helpful then don't use a block Okay, so we want to lift up through the insides of the legs, roll the tops of your thighs in towards each other, lengthening out through the spine, winding those bottom ribs forwards. So you might just look like this and extend that energy upwards. So maintain that two pieces of glass feeling. Reach that top hand forwards. Okay, now widen out across that right hip and then square your hips. So now you might want to grab your blocks and come into your pyramid pose here. So this is similar to the uh, half Hanuman that we did before with that first hamstring option. So you can have your blocks and then keep squaring the hips. So drawing that left hip in towards the socket, squaring, drawing that, rolling that right hip forward. Okay. 
Okay, from here, lift the chest, and then we're gonna walk the hands to the middle and bring the feet to the center. Okay, grab your blocks here if you need. So we're coming into a wide-legged straddle forward fold. Okay, so you can take a few breaths here. Grab your blocks to place underneath your wrists if you need to, to give a little bit of support. Okay, and then lengthen out through the spine. Hands underneath the shoulders. And then melt yourself down. So your back should be very nice and straight here. Okay, and then from here... Just let everything soften. So you can use a block just to support the forearms if you need to, or the hands. And taking a couple of nice deep breaths here. Breathing into wherever you're feeling the stretch, keep widening out through your hips and rolling the tops of your thighs in towards each other. Yep, so, so make sure you're not kind of like that. That's all I mean when I go sideways. All right, so make sure you're not kind of, your back isn't looking like this. Your back is kind of like this or like this. So we have, but with the flat back, right? So not super round. Okay, from here, let's now come back up. Okay, widen out through your hip crease and then grab your blocks if you need, okay? Now, angle your right leg out and then maybe from here, keep the back straight and then bring that knee out to the side. So this is a, still the same leg that we've been war doing our warrior with. So this is what we did before. Now we're widening the hips and the body's kind of coming forward. So this might enable you to perhaps come a little bit deeper than you did in, so in warrior two, that thigh is kind of in line with the leg. When we come a little bit deeper, which we, is our prep for our ninja pose. So when we do this, bring the body forward, might be able to come a little bit lower whatever feels accessible, okay? Without collapsing into the hips. Come back to center, align that foot in, maybe take the, bring the other foot out and come down onto the other side. Maybe this side might feel a little bit different because we haven't done that. Okay, come back up, right toes in, left toes back out, come back to the left side. And then come back up. So keep widening out through the hips. No crunching in the hips as we transition. Bring the toes in. Bring the other toes out. Bending into the right knee. Come onto the other side. Yep, so just adjust the hands as you need. And then come back up. Toes face in. Bring the other toes out. You might have to be a little bit deeper on that side. So keep this either keep the spine long forwards or perhaps you can come up a little drop the hips a little bit deeper and then last one on the other side so awesome all right from here bring yourself forwards and release the blocks bring the hands down so we're in a way deeper step lunge than we are sometimes than we are in a warrior two take that foot and inhale it back, come back into down dog or child's pose, stretch the legs or stretch the back, walk the legs either in tabletop or down dog. All right, let's take the right leg now. Open the hip, bend the knee, square the shoulders, to raise the circle, roll forwards, knee to nose or forehead. Inhale it back. Open hip, bend the knee, square the shoulders, trace the circle, roll forwards, bring that foot down, come onto your back knee. Okay, front knee stacks above the ankle, inhale, come up, exhale, cactus arms. Three breaths here in our cactus arms. As we inhale, we lift up, squeezing through the backs of the shoulder blades. As we exhale, rounding forwards. Inhale, open, exhale, round. Last one here. Inhale, this time you can stay with cactus arms or take the arms all the way up, coming into maybe a little bit of a deeper back bend, lifting the ribs, make sure we're not pinching into the lower back. Exhale, release, hands onto the side of the front leg, grab your blocks back if you need to, and then gently 
drawing the hips back and forth here. Thank you, Mike. I'm just circling. Okay, bringing the hips back over the back knee. Bend, keep your front bend in your front knee if you like. And then just melting down. Breathing into the back of that right leg. All right, come forwards again. And then from here, tuck the back toes under, lift the back knee. Push into the legs, inhale into high lunge. Maybe a little back bend. Inhale back to center, exhale warrior two. Align your feet. Front foot in line with the arch of the back. So I'm just gonna grow my tail. It's getting very warm. Some weather in Melbourne has no updates on the weather in this street today. Okay. All right, come into your warrior two legs. Lengthen the spine. Spread the feet nice and spread the toes nice and wide. Ground down into the earth octopus feet. Push down on the outer edge of that back foot. Okay, lifting up through the inside arch. Suck the knee into the thigh. And then from here, widen the hips, squeeze the glutes, and we're winding that front leg. So squeeze your glutes, squeeze your outer thigh on that right side, and then wind that front thigh and knee out to the right-hand corner of your mat. And then from here, lengthen the spine wide, winding, keeping that right thigh and knee winding out, but we're winding the ribs on the left side open. And then extending out through the fingertips, eye gaze towards the right. Okay, front palm faces up. Inhale, come back, Samoria. Exhale, forwards, extended angle. Inhaling back. Exhaling forwards. And then one more. Pushing into the front leg to draw you up. And then exhale, forwards. Okay, inhale, back to warrior two, straightening the legs, sliding forwards into triangle. Maintain that in between two planes of glass feeling, and then coming down. So drawing up through the insides of the legs, and then now we're rolling those ear legs and the spine, rolling those bottom ribs forwards, extending up through those top fingertips. Reach that top hand forwards, widen out across the hips, bring the chest to square to the floor. Bring your hands onto your blocks if you need. You can make the blocks higher, so the blocks are adjustable, so we can bring them a bit higher if we need to. Okay, lengthen the spine. And then from here, let's take a couple of breaths here in your pyramid pose. Okay, and when you're ready, Widen out through the hip, walk the hands back to center, bring those toes back in and come back into your sterile fall. So I'll take a couple of breaths here. Okay, now let's walk our hands towards the left. So you can bring the block down, you can, or you might look like this, or you might look like this. Okay, so come across to one side. And then lift up, come to the second, come back to the come to the second side. You can hold the ankle if you like or hold the foot. Come back to center. All right, let's do that same thing that we did earlier. So grab your blocks, lift up. Okay, and then from here, widen out, come to one side. Come back in, straighten the foot, bring the other foot out, widen out through the hip as we come down to the other side. Maybe now we can come a little, we feel like we're coming a little bit lower. Come back up, widen the hip, back to the first side. Inhale, bring it in, and second side. Okay, come back to center. Let's do a quick little flow while we're here. So take the hands, come all the way up. 
Inhale, exhale, bring the hands into prayer. Okay, bring your heels in, come into goddess for a moment. So from here, bring the heels, sorry, that's the inside of my heels. So now we want to bring the heels in. So in our straight legs, we have the heels out. So now we're bringing the heels in. And now lift your pelvic floor, lengthen the spine. Sink a little bit deeper into your legs. Really squeeze your glutes, squeeze your outer thighs. And while you're squeezing that, feel like everything's like a rope. So you're winding, winding, winding. As you continue to wind down, you might be able to bring the heels further in so that you can bring your feet into one line. Keep lengthening the spine. Rolling the tailbone back towards the floor. Okay. Push into the legs. Come back up. Bring the heels in. Okay, now we're going to come back to the first side. Widen out through the hip. Stay here or maybe bring the toes to the sky. Lift up, second side. Okay, now we come back onto the first side. See if you can come a little bit lower, if not. So release the hands, come to the point where you can bring your hands onto the blocks and maybe come into with your heel lifted. So if you're not comfortable in a squat, this might be an option or to stay with here okay so just make sure that you're listening to your body or you may be coming back into this shape that we did before okay so find what feels right for your body okay lifting up come onto the second side take our blocks with us okay you might want to stay here you might want to work on your balance so we're lengthening everything up or you might want to work on the flexibility bring the hands forwards maybe come a little bit deeper maybe you can lift the heel and Come deeper into that hip, okay? Otherwise, from here, let's come back. One more on each side. So, might be like this. Yep, so, and you might find that you can maybe drop the blocks a little bit lower now, you know? So, just find what works for, for you. Okay, and then come back up. And then second side. pushing the hips back so you want, don't want that front knee to kind of collapse so when we're doing this you don't want that knee to kind of come forwards too much yeah so we want it to kind of be like that and then you can come a little bit lower down all right from here let's come back to the center and then come back into your white legged forward fold take a couple of breaths here Okay, let's inhale, come up, take the arms and bring them around. Now, option to grab your strap, maybe you can, so if it's accessible, you can just maybe interlace your fingers. If you feel that everything's a little bit tight when you do that, grab your strap and maybe create a little bit of tension in your strap. Okay, so we're going to inhale, widen out through the hips, roll the tops of your thighs in, exhale, let the chest melt down. Take your hands and then reach your hands back up towards the sky. So your legs are active, drawing up through the insides of the legs. And then rolling the tops of the thighs in, legs and out. And then keep reaching your hands up towards the sky. Keep squeezing through the backs of your shoulder blades and release the back of your neck. Maybe a little gentle shaking of the head from side to side. And then from here, if you like, maybe... Start to let the hands melt down. So this is where if you have a strap, you might let the strap come down. Or otherwise, if you've got your hands inaccessible. And then maybe just a gentle little sway from side to side. Okay. From here, let's lift through the pelvic floor. Belly hugs in as we inhale, bring ourselves back up. Lift up through the back of your heart. Squeeze through the backs of your shoulder blades. Keep your... Tops of the thighs rolling in, tailbone reaches to the ground as we reach the heart to the sky. Chin and eye gaze through the sky. Keep squeezing through the backs of your shoulder blades, breathing into the heart. Inhale back to center. Release the hands, release your strap. And then exhale, come back down. Inhale halfway. From here. Bring your uh, left hand either onto a block or in line with the head. Or like in line with the head, so keep your back nice and straight. So like this or like this, okay? Take your other hand onto your sacrum 
and just feel the alignment of your hips. So sometimes as we twist, we will feel one hip start to lift. So keep lengthening up through the insides of your legs, pelvic floor lifts, tops of thighs rolling in, lengthening up as we exhale, keep the belly hug into spine, rolling your right hip in, feel how that right hip wants to kind of hitch up. So keep the hips uh, level and then lengthen up and winding the ribs open towards the right side. And then from here, we're taking that top hand and extending it up, winding the ribs open, our gaze lifting up. So we're drawing energy from the earth up through the top fingertips. Reach that hand forwards, exhale, release. Come down, inhale back up. Right hand in the middle, lengthen up, other hand, me maybe on the sacrum to start. Inhale, lengthen as we exhale, begin to wind open. Finding that left hip down as we lengthen the spine and winding the right ribs open. Extending up through the fingertips. And then release here. Bring the hands back in. All right. So from here, let's make our way to the ground. So grab your blocks again if you've got your blocks. Bring the left foot out. So we start on the left side and we come back into this shape. So this is our prep. So you can maybe come a little bit deeper and then find your way down onto the ground. Otherwise, if you really if you have hip issues, bring yourself forward and then come down, throw that knee up and then bring yourself all the way down. So find, bring yourself comfortably down into seated. And then from here, just bring that foot in and then bring your right hand onto the inner thigh, left hand to the sky, inhale. As we exhale, just reach to the side. Inhale back up. And then square the hips, bring that uh, knee in, so our hips are centered. Inhale, lengthen, bend the knee a little bit. Exhale, come forward, take a few breaths. Okay, and when you're ready, roll back up. Okay, take the hands around, maybe come into wild thing. And then release. All right, uh, if your hips are tight, don't worry about coming back up to uh, transition. So just bring the legs the other way. Coming into the side opener, take the right hand up, shoulders away from the ears, inhale. Exhale, reaching it out. Push into the bottom hand, inhale back up, square the hips. Bend the knee if you need to, inhale, exhale, forward fold, square hips, draw that left hip back into the socket. And inhale back up, all right, take the right hand if you like to come. Nice, stretch, open up, come back down. From here, bring both legs out and then Inhale, exhale, double-legged forward fold. Take a few breaths here. And so keep the knees bent, maybe like this, whatever feels good. Maybe start to flex the feet. Keep your back straight if it's accessible. All right. When you're ready, roll yourself back up. Lengthen up, bend the knees, come into low boat. I mean high boat, sorry. Okay, pelvic floor lifts, belly hugs in, keep that TBA band active, hips, ribs to hips. Okay, from here, let's gently keep that TBA band active, transition yourself lower, bring the feet out to the edges of your mat, and then roll yourself from low boat all the way down into Shavasana. All right, when you arrive at the bottom, make any final adjustments that you need. If you want to do a little shimmy from side to side, you might want to hug the knees in and rock from side to side or a little happy baby, whatever feels good. And then melting down. Okay, so feet just a little bit wider than hip width. Let the hips relax. If you need more space through your lower back, you can roll your tailbone under. Hopefully it feels okay from your um, coming down from boat. So lengthen the spine, widen the shoulders, slide the shoulders back down away from the ears. Back of the neck is long and tip of the tongue is resting on the roof of the mouth just behind the two front teeth so your energy is centered to connected. Keeping the eyes lightly closed, lips lightly touching. 
And then softening down, deepening the breath. Okay, so if you're doing this as a video replay, I encourage you to stay in Shavasana for as long as you like, maybe the next 10 or 15 minutes if that feels good for you. Okay, so I'm just going to come up and say goodbye. Make sure that when you release out of Shavasana, you take your time and come into a nice nourishing fetal position first. So. Okay, so namaste. Thank you. If you have questions or feedback, just hit me up on the comments or let me know. Thank you. Bye-bye.